Hi, Sag. I just totally screwed up your reading. I did the entire reading and then I hit the delete button by accident. So here we are. I'm going to give you the rundown, okay? I, in the past, you have the te two of pentacles in reverse. You let go of your juggling. You no longer felt comfortable juggling either between two people or two uh, lifestyles, two instances. Something felt a little overwhelming and you dropped it. It's like I can see you spinning plates, okay? And, and you're like, I can't do this forever. I'm just putting them down. All right? And then to clarify that, I got the justice or judgment. I'm sorry. Judgment card. This is healing and releasing and forgiving old karma. Okay? So perhaps you got tired of this situation. You called it up for judgment. And you chose whether or not you were going to breathe new life into it or if you were going to let it be the past and put the past in the past. Okay, then clarifying that is the Fool card. That's why I believe that you made this judgment already because now you're on a new path and you've released your burdens. There's Ten of, Pent or ten of Wands in reverse. Now in the... <laughs> In the present, you got the Page of Swords in the Upright. Spirit told me that this is either you or somebody you're dealing with who has held their tongue. I'm hearing they held their tongue. They have withheld communication. They've kind of been in their own little mode, whether this is you or the person you're asking about that's on your heart and mind. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody in the past was not communicating and now it almost feels urgent like I, I just gotta tell him I gotta tell him I gotta tell him what do you have to tell him I asked for clarifiers I got the three of swords in the upright okay and then clarifying the three of swords because I was a little confused about that being the fact that somebody's willing to communicate so they want to talk about what broke their heart they want to talk about what broke their heart they might want to talk about a third party situation. Hard to tell these days. <laughs> but if that resonates with you, take it and run with it. Okay? And then I tried to clarify the Three of Swords. I'm like, okay, what does this Three of Swords have to do with? And I got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So this heartbreak happened around the home, it happened around finances or security. Um, it could have been a, a marriage. It's a marriage card. It's inheritance. It's like legacy, family, business, traditions. But it's all that good stuff, you know. But it doesn't look like it was very good because it brought heartbreak, okay? So what happened? To clarify the Ten of Pentacles, I got the Justice card. So you weren't happy, Sag. You weren't happy or they weren't happy. They, call, they, they want to talk about this heartbreak. Talk about perhaps... A divorce because three could be third party situation, ten of pentacles could be family and uh, marriage, and then the the justice card could be court. You could be going to court for a divorce and um, divvying up the spoils. Okay, that could be the two of pentacles too, splitting things. Okay. But this is also about karma. You got judgment and you got justice, okay? Judgment in the past, justice in the future, or in the now. You're calling up justice. So for some of you, you're getting a divorce. Why? Because there might have been a third-party situation or you might be in love with somebody else or vice versa. Some of you, because then we got the Four of Cups clarifying the whole mess, some of you got bored decided to divorce, went to court, split up the funds, all because of this three of swords, you weren't happy, your heart was broken, and because of the fact that there's, if this is a divorce, for some of you it is, some of you it's not, I'll get to the rest of you in a minute, those of you who are separating and divorcing from a partner, it's a karmic relationship, because you got the karma, karma cards, both of them are karma cards, the judgment card and the justice card. Okay, and why did you do all this? Because, you know, you, you, you were depressed, disillusioned, you were nostalgic, you were thinking about somebody else is what I'm hearing. You were thinking about somebody else. All right, for the others of you that aren't 
getting a divorce. This page of swords wants to come through with communication and clarity about what broke their heart or what broke your heart in this relationship. And justice is, I'm hearing justice is them talking about it. It's the justice is them wanting to communicate how they felt about it and why they did it. Whatever happened in the past, I'm hearing it was because somebody was bored or disillusioned or, or nostalgic about somebody else. Okay, and then in the near future, we got the Seven of Swords in reverse. That tells me somebody had bad behavior. Somebody was sneaky. Somebody was deceptive, a liar, a cheater, or a thief. They just had deceptive behavior. Okay, now I don't know. There's only one three on the board, so there may not be a karmic situation or karmic relationship involved in this. This could be all one person. The one person you dropped and you judged in the past, you know, now you've got the, uh, the fool's card moving forward into the now. Okay, so I'm just hearing for some of you, this is one person, a person from your past that needed to come up for judgment, resurrection. You either breathe life back into it or you let it go. Looks like you might have left it go. Well, actually, either way, if you breathe new life into it, you've got a new beginning with that person. If you judged it and let it go, you got a new beginning with someone else. But I don't see a someone else anywhere. This looks like the same person to me. Okay? They want to talk about it. You want to talk about it. Somebody wants to clear the air from this Three of Swords, this brokenheartedness. And, you know, it looks like there was a lot on the line at one point. And possibly you're trying to manifest it again. But there needs to be balance, equal reciprocity. And this boredom card, this is an opportunity. You either take it or you miss it. I feel like you're thinking about it. That's why it's in the now. You're thinking about this opportunity. But they were deceptive in the past, and that leaves you a little unsettled. It's in the reverse, though, so I think they've changed. And then we get the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse clarifying the seven in reverse and that's a lack of trust a lack of security a lack of intuition okay it's not feeling abundant it's feeling upset in the upside down but i clarified that i'm like okay so there's mistrust here what's the outcome that's all i asked what's the outcome for my sagittarius and i got the ten of cups ten of cups that's harmony that's marriage soulmate happiness stability family blessings end of hard times it's beautiful, guys. So the outcome's going to be great. I think you're on it. I think you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. The only thing left to do is to trust. And that came up right here. Trust. All right? And then there's reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And I see that. I see that. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, this is like the Nine of Pentacles. You step, or, yeah, you step into your power, self-love, self-healing. When you get like this, you are attractive. You can't help but call in your soulmate when you love on yourself. That's just the way it goes. This woman doesn't have a man or a dog or a bird or anything in this picture. It's just her and her happiness. Okay? Then... Children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you have a family. Some of you don't. Some of you, this is the twins. If you're on a twin flame journey, this could represent the twins. This was you and him or him and you or her and you. Vice versa, it doesn't matter. But it was when you were children was when this contract first came into being. Okay. And then we have, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This has been coming up a lot for some people. So you might have someone on your heart and mind, and you think they're one way, but they're going to come back and they're totally different. Okay? They, your soulmate may differ from your expectations. Okay? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Don't be afraid to have an open heart. Don't guard yourself trust and then an engagement happens and this doesn't necessarily mean a ring on your finger although it could your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment 
That's what it means. It's a leg up. It's a it's a level up in the situation. And it could be talking and communicating, which is this page of swords energy. It's getting together and having long conversations and engaging with one another talking. Okay, so I'm going to draw one moon card for you, and then we're going to move on to Capricorn. I'm, you know what? Spirit said don't. Don't muddy the waters. I feel like there's a decision being made, and Spirit's telling me no more guidance. Let them take care of this, because in the now... There's a talk on the horizon. There's communication that needs to happen. And until that happens, you're not picking any damn cup. Okay? And I don't feel like I'm supposed to tell you what to do. And I know that's frustrating. But I think you already know. I think you already know. Because reconciliation, that's pretty straightforward. And trust. Okay, so thank you, Sag. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And comment and share. There's a contest going on once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Check that out in the but bottom description. i got to thank here. And also, you know, I do have a donate button if you want to go to PayPal and donate to help me out. Um... I'm just trying to grow the channel. I'd like to reach as many people as possible. And I'm so grateful that Spirit allows me to reach out to you. Okay. So I love you. This is for the 15th through the 22nd for Sagittarius. Okay. Now we're moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, we're going to do this quickly. And we are out of here because I have a lunch date with my friend Sherry and I'm running late so let's go on spirit tell us about Capricorn for the 15th through the 22nd of February Capricorn 15th through the 22nd of February 15th through the 22nd of February tell me about Capricorn in love and romance and twin flames soulmates Affairs of the heart. Tell me past, present, and future for the situation of the week of 15th through the 22nd. Thank you, Spirit. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. In the past, we've got the Ten of Wands. That's nice. It's the end of a bad situation. It's letting go of burdens. In the now, we've got the Three of Cups in reverse. Maybe no celebration happening just yet. And in the future, we've got the Magician card in the reverse. So the Magician card in the reverse for me sometimes is a manipulation. Okay? It's when you use your magic power to force yourself and your will on other people instead of using a good way to manifest and allowing divinity to bring it to you. It could be spell casting. could be just simply using your power of attract or the law of attraction in an unhealthy way so let's take a look at this ten of wands what is ten of wands here for for capricorn thank you ah we've got temperance this is a time of healing you re you released burdens and now you are seeking balance and healing and you're finding a creative solution to the problem. What problem? The Five of Swords in reverse. Wanting change. It's inner inner conflict is what I'm hearing. Okay? The inner you're, you're trying to temper yourself because of the inner conflict. You're you're wanting to let go of these burdens. You're conflicted on the inside, and uh, Archangel Gabriel is here to divinely help you to get moderation and balance against what? Moderation and balance. What is this here for? Moderation and balance. 
Silence. Thank you. Okay, so there was a change in the past that you didn't want. It left you feeling unbalanced. Okay, unable to move forward. Because this is the Six of Swords in the reverse. So this is being stuck. This is the inability to move forward. But the Archangel Gabriel is here. And this is divinely planned. So this is good. Even if it doesn't feel good, this is a karmic thing happening. This is divinity stepping in because you were burdened, because you had inner conflict, and because you're stuck and can't move forward. All right, so in the present, we've got the three of cups in reverse. So that is all about unhappiness, uncelebrating. Yeah, you didn't get an apology, okay? You are waiting on an apology, the Page of Cups, and it hasn't come yet. Ooh, Spirit's really wanting to talk to you. Yeah, and the Two of Cups in reverse. You guys just aren't feeling good. What's going on here for my Capricorns? How are we going to turn this frown upside down? Let's look to the future with this magician. Oh, I'm not taking it. I'm sorry, Spirit. you got to be more definitive here. Magician in reverse, please, in the future for my Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just hearing this is not manipulation. The, the magician in the reverse, I, you're just really stuck. You're really stuck. You're having a hard time manifesting the three of swords in reverse, a healing. You're having a hard time manifesting a healing. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles on top of that. Okay, so that let's get a clarifier on the Queen of Pentacles. That's you, Cap. That's you. Then we've got the Nine of Wands, standing your ground. So this is you, okay? You're standing your ground. You're trying to manifest this. You're having a hard time. Things just ain't coming together. Why? Because this person, see, I got the player card. Knight of Wands. He likes to come in and out, and he likes to, he likes to fall in love with love. This is somebody who just is never happy with the love they've got. But it can be, it can be a passionate message from somebody. Let's get an outcome card, because I just don't like this spread. I think there's a player in here somewhere. Screwing with my Capricorns. Can I get an outcome card? An outcome card for Capricorn for the week of the 15th through the 22nd? An outcome card? An action card? What do we do to fix this? What is the outcome for Capricorn? The outcome is... The Emperor. It's the masculine. Hmm. So, okay, Caps, I'm sorry to say this, but it feels to me, if you're dealing with an Aries, this is who's upsetting your apple cart. And if you're on a twin flame journey, then you're waiting on your masculine to get his shit together. Wow. Well, the outcome, though, is solid. It's, you know, decision-making, firm and fa fair, power to right, rule one's own life. It's coming into control. So maybe it's time for you to take control, Capricorn. I'm kind of feeling like this emperor energy might be what you need for you. Can I get another? I'm sorry. One more, please. One more, one more, one more, one more. Outcome card for Capricorn for the week. Oh, shit. That's too many, guys. 
too many. It's only a week. The outcome looks to me like this page of wands is wanting to become the emperor. So I think this is a masculine energy here. If you're a feminine and you're watching this, Capricorn, there it is. There's my clarifier. Four of Cups. Everybody keeps getting this Four of Cups. All right, so this is a waiting period. It's just a waiting period, okay? You're going to have to stand your ground. I'm hearing stand your ground. Stand your ground. Don't give up. Don't give up. Meditate. Contemplate. Ask your spirit guides. Yeah, because, oh, and you know what? You've got a new beginning on the horizon. Spirit just told me they're giving this to you because of the way this is looking. But this is not this week. You have to go within and start loving. You have to recognize that you're worthy. That's what I'm hearing. You're worthy. And the Seven of Swords is on the bottom. So whoever this person is, they kind of behaved or misbehaved. And it's left you feeling like everything's in the upside down position. <laughs> There's good cards here, but they're all in the upside down position. So when they show up in your spread, I think it's a potential that they're there for you. It's just, you know, you got to turn it in the upright. There's a decision that needs to be made. And I'm hearing that that decision is you have to find yourself worthy. And you have to set up healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries. Okay, can we get a Romance Angel card? For my Capricorns, for the week of the 15th through the 22nd. 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 All right. So we got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon and we have worth waiting for divine timing is it work in your love life which it is because you've got the the uh, temperance card so this is all about sitting and waiting is what i'm hearing you don't need to make the choice whoever you're thinking about needs to make the choice because they're the ones that turned all this energy upside down not you okay but in order for you to get this Ace of Cups, you've got to become the Ace of Cups, which means that you have to judge yourself worthy, move into your Empress status or your Queen of Pentacles or wherever your energy, your archetype lies. But you have to wait, love on yourself, heal yourself, take care of you and wait is what I'm hearing for you. Because this person is working on it and divine timing is in the future for you. But there's somebody you need to move away from. Somebody you need to move away from in separation. Whether it's just for a spell or if it's for a long time, that's up to you. Uh, you might be having a hard time moving away because of financial issues. But divine timing is at work and codependency is all about, you've got to recognize that you can't want somebody so bad that, that you're willing to compromise who you are and your integrity for it. Okay? Love on you and they will love on you. That is your weekly reading. I love you guys. Bye, Capricorn. Bye, Sag. See y'all later. Hit the like button. Hit the, um, or subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell if you haven't. Check out my contest if you haven't down in the description box. If you would like to um, bless me with an energetic exchange, whether it's, you know, by doing what I just said, hitting the like button, commenting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell. Those are things you can do if you can't afford to help um, with an exchange of currency, which is electric currency. It's an equal exchange. If you can't do that, I don't mind at all. I'm here because I love you, not because I'm trying to glean anything from you. Okay, also, if you want to help, um, if you want to help me in an even exchange, you know, where you feel like you're actually getting, getting your money's worth, 
hit the private reading button if you feel like you need one and you think that I can help you on this journey. Okay, I love you. See you next week. Bye, guys.